Hello guys, this is uh, Shocker360 and the Xbox uh, Super Bowl ticket tournament. And last week I didn't, uh, I did win the tournament, but I didn't win. I wasn't the first one to win the tournament, so I did not qualify. I didn't, I didn't get to qualify for that tournament. So you have to be the first one. And yes, this is on Xbox. And um, you know, I've been playing a lot of uh, daily cash games on uh, Xbox. My record right now is actually. Uh, 19 and 4 losses so it's a pretty good and as well you know I got a nice amount of money there on that account that I could use for other tournaments later in the future so I'm pretty much set for Virgin Gaming and the good thing is that you can start off with 50 cents and actually make it you know larger and make your account there larger so this is my my um, second time I entered this tournament but this time I play back to back to back to back games like right away I wanted to be the first one to win in order for me to have bigger chances and I think I might have done it this time uh, as you can see here my opponent is pretty tough my first round opponents for some reason every time I enter this tournament they're really tough uh, later uh, uh, in the tournament it doesn't get that it starts getting easier for me but always my the first round opponent is a tough opponent and this guy had the, the Ravens and as you can see here I'm adjusting and he has a little uh, play action read uh, or uh, you know this little option play that he has right here and he got me there 7-0 but I answer back right away and I use the Cowboys throughout the whole tournament the reason I like the Cowboys is because I believe they have the, a great core of wide receivers they're fast they're tall and um, Tony Romo can run so he's like a, a little Michael Vick not that fast but he could run if you, if you need to as well you got a good tight end and a uh, running back it's just awesome as well. He's fast, elusive, and you can move the ball with him uh, really well. That's why I like him. They're really high powered. As you can see here, my opponent sends an A gap blitz down the middle, uh, and it's another turnover. So I'm down in this tournament 7 0. I was getting mad and frustrated at this point. I'm trying to adjust right here to my opponent, and you know, I'm noticing that he's doing the halfback draw. He's running with the ball, he's doing a little route going towards the sideline on the left. So I got to watch that as well. And, uh, you know so I'm starting adjusting I'm starting to adjust to what he's doing and as you can see here he gets me right here once rice is gone like this he's gone and, and as you can see here it's 14-0 the first half of this game so I'm gonna go ahead and try to answer back and um, on defense basically he's not that good but I rate uh, made some bad reads on, on offense that's why he's uh, uh, he's on top right now and uh, you know I decided to go with a short game. I was trying to go deep, so now I'm gonna go with a short game, and I'm gonna nickel and dime him all day long until I finally get an opening, as you can see here, a uh, deep, and we get a uh, wide open there for a touchdown. So here we go, setting up my defense. I'm gonna go ahead and put max coverage right here, make sure nobody beats me deep on this side. But again, I want to cover with the safety this time, and try to send uh, right here, contain Rice right here, running on the left side. Again. This time we're going to go ahead and again max coverage as you can see here. I'm setting it up. He sends a screen. And we'll go ahead and try it. Like I said, man, he's, I'm still trying to lock him up. I'm already, um, you know, getting closer to score uh, the score in this game, 14-7. And uh, he's uh, driving and driving, 14-7 right here. So I, I, I'm going to go ahead and stop this player. I think I stopped him here for, for a field goal. So as you can see, he's doing this option play again. So I got some, he does it like three plays that he's doing constantly. I got to lock it up in order for me to start being competitive in this game. And as you can see here, my corner, I put him, this was the, the one route that I told you guys toward the sideline. So I just really well to it. I moved the cornerback a little bit to the inside therefore he didn't get sucked in and he was in the right position for the interception so as you saw there I adjusted really well to that route so that's one of the first route that I started to lock up so now it's time to nickel and dime him all the way until I get to the touchdown so I'm gonna nickel and dime you and have back draw of death as well until I score I don't care uh, this year's defense is a little bit weak so I could do that all day and as you can see here I need to lock that up there he gets a first down and right here playing max coverage he has a halfback draw now I could also send the blitz to stop that uh, stop this draw I'm gonna go ahead and set it up putting a contain right here on the linebacker this time we send the blitz right here nowhere to go uh, his play is locked up he's trying to throw to that route towards the sideline 13 and 16 we're tied 14-14 uh, he's sending the screen I got somebody out there on a flat route on a flat zone I actually set that up there it was a nice adjustment and let's go ahead and start getting Brian here 
second and nine let's go ahead and start and, and air it out now so it's 14 14 up man this is a good game this was a like I said every time my first round is always the best game that I play and as you can see here the halfback draw of death uh, by Shocker 360 is not the Eddie Cards one it's mine right here and as you can see we get the touchdown and this time we're on top 21 14 uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to lock him up here once we uh, lock him up here we pretty much uh, could uh, pretty much be game over as you can see here sending the blitz this time everything's locked up now so now he doesn't have that route he's scared of throwing it and I'm sending the blitz on one side again I'm gonna go ahead and manually bump and run right here the inside slot receiver you see that route ain't there no more it's 4 than 10 if I stop him here it's 2 minute warning over here if I stop him here that's pretty much it he already wasted a timeout and uh Yep, he overthrows it there. His quarterback saw my player there. He overthrew that play. And that's pretty much it for this game. So it was a really close game. You, you got a preview there of the tournament defense adjustments. So make sure you go, guys go check it out. You don't have the tournament defense. He has all the adjustments that I do in the game to lock up a, a lot of the defenses and offenses. Like I said, I'm 19-4 and four in money games right now at Virgin Gaming. You can go ahead and check me out. I'm a Mexicano 2011. And if you want to add me as a friend there at Virgin Gaming, go ahead. But I am uh, 19 and 4 on Xbox side, and I am 10 and 3 on the PS3 side. So you know, I'm I'm really good right now, and I'm on fire. So I'm gonna keep it that way until later, guys. It was Shocker 360 from Manosters.com. If you want to know some of the plays in this adjustment, shoot me an email or a message, and I'll go ahead and give them to you guys. Thank you for watching.